on Independent Weekend, Saturday, August 5, 2023. It's all about Umbrella Evening Brunch Anniversary at Caymanos Golf Club St. Catherine from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's a food-inclusive and VIP mixed drinks inclusive event. Performances by Diplomat Valiant, Stock Ashley, and the fourth gender boss, Ididididonia. Showtime, 6 p.m. Music by Chromatic Live, Fire Team, Shabrock Team Wire, and Pomo Blacks Movement, powered by Stingray Movement. So get your tickets online now at First In Line JA. No weapons allowed. Must be 18 years or older. Drink responsibly. Get dear viewers and subscribers one of the best events in the holidays. Don't be late. Kiermanas, Golf Show, Ryan LFC represent for this party. I want all the people them to roll out. Buy the ticket early online. Some of the top dancehall artists will be here. So don't be late. Purchase a ticket right now. You better prepare yourself for the big time so you can tell the kids about it. Yo, this is Delirance. And remember, Green and Yellow Organization presents the annual Alicop Junior Football Tournament. It's an invitational thing, so you know it loud. August 10, 11, and 12. You see, August 10th are over steps. August 11, Jamaica College, and August 12, Excelsior Ground. So that when you're loud, it proud, because we're about to crowd in the cloud. Me for shout out to Sambo, shout out to Chris Bailey, shout out to Scholar. Remember, the sponsors are there. Bamsey Grange, True Juice, Western Sports, Sports Max, and Sam Isaacs and Son. Belly Rankin say that when you're big, Ali Cup Junior Invitational Football Tournament, August 10, 11, and 12. Be there. Hi, my name is Tiffany Cameron, Reggae Girls Top Striker, and you are watching Ryan LFC YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and there's them here. This is Boom Boom, aka World Boom, the Billboard Selector. And may I represent for Ryan LFC to get the latest Reggae Boys content. Just hit that like and subscribe button. And the Operation Ball Game, I say, knock it, Ryan. Good evening, 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 good night, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching about this video and the replay, pick up to all the fans who supporting the movement. Alright? Once you guys join the chat, if you're watching back on the replay, share it out down in the comment section. People who watch it back on the replay, I promise you guys, this one. Will not be a long one. This is just a quick update to the Reggae Boys fans. To let you guys know what is really taking place in the world of football with all our Reggae Boys players. Remember, the Reggae Girls will play this Wednesday, 5 a.m. Jamaican time, 6 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure that you don't miss it. Jamaica versus Brazil. Win for Jamaica. We just not. To lose that game. I will be will be in the round of 16 in the World Cup. But people, smash the like button, share it out down in the comment section. People, yesterday I played some ball. And me are telling you people. It was a good one. But rain. You know you are sweat and rain end up with you. This is the first time I ever I play a ball in Canada. Uh, the first time rain ever with me in Canada, I may tell the people. Feel sick. But before that, I think the whole of last week, I inhale something at work when I'm not supposed to inhale. And it kind of mess with me right now. So this one won't be a long one. I'm not feeling too well, people. Right now, my heart like fire. I'm there I speak to you. But the work have to continue. I have to give you guys a quick update on this. So first and foremost, people. Jamaican. Poster boy, Demari Gray. Top, top, top talent. Excellent tournament. Feature in the best 11 in the Gold Cup. He have a fantastic tournament. No doubt about that. A lot of team are for Demari Gray. Not only Fulham, Crystal Palace, the Saudi League, Wolipa Club are for the Reggae Boys winger. Talented player. But I must say, people, viewers and subscribers, I'm going to play something for you guys. All right? I'll make you guys hear this. But in the meantime, people, make sure that on a like of the video, do you guys 
like this move, I think it's a good move. I'm not going to lie to the people. I think it's a good move for them to go to Fulham. Everton, every year Everton change to our chief manager. Right now, consistent for players to build them career at Everton. But linking up with Bobby with a Fulham, trust me, people, this is a good look. And I love that movie yeah, with them are agree. We'll make when the time comes. Alright? But we'll on the people. So we'll on the people. Contention. Yeah. My apology, people. My apology, people. You know what I mean? But this is a good look, people. Good look. Any words on Reese Nelson? No, nothing on Reese Nelson right now. Nothing on Reese Nelson, people. Love to see him coming at the National League, but nothing to report on Reese Nelson. All right? People, make sure you smash up the like button. We have 50, 60 of you guys in the chat. But people, before we let you know, before we play the thing, we're just going to just play it, and then we'll share with thought on it and things. So, and think. Right. Well, we've got some more breaking transfer news for you now. Fulham have a verbal agreement with Everton for the signing of Damari Gray. Now, the winger won't be allowed to leave Goodison Park. That's until Sean Dyche has added some extra bodies to his squad. It's not thought that personal terms will be an issue, but it's also not clear what fee has been agreed yet. So Damari Gray set to go to Fulham, but that's not until Sean Dyche has recruited some reinforcements. Well, we've got some more breaking transfer news for you now. Fulham have a verbal agreement with Everton for the signing of Damari Gray. Now, the winger won't be allowed to leave Goodison Park. That's until Sean Dyche has added some extra bodies to his squad. It's not thought that personal terms will be an issue, but it's also not clear what fee has been agreed yet. So Damari Gray set to go to Fulham, but that's not until Sean Dyche has recruited some reinforcements. Well, we've got some... All right, people, so you hear it? Verbal agreement with Fulham and the reggae boys winger they might agree but based on what Fulham finished last season I think Fulham were competitive Fulham is a very good team they have a very good coach the club is on the up this is the first time for a long time they come to the Premier League and stay up in the Premier League and the goal is for them to stay up in the Premier League again and to make another push for achieve great thing probably a europa league spot are that going to be too big for fulham but i think fulham start the season very well in the last season but i think based on most of these club the goal is to make sure that they stay up in the premier league and i think fulham surpass the points but after a while, Fulham get comfortable and start to lose a whole heap of game. The consistent kind of go through or come out through the window and thing. But for right now, they are back on track. They are signing some good player. Um, Bobby Reed. So that's two Jamaican players at Fulham right now. You get the message we're in the first team for Fulham. So that is a good look. I like to see when the reggae boys play a team up at a club. You understand? Because, you know, to get that togetherness and that brotherhood, you know what I mean? I like to see that. But let's see what's going to happen. As them say, verbal agreement with Fulham and them are agree. So no pen and to paper yet. We have to just watch and see. But me believe that he will make the move. I don't think um, Sean Dice have them are agree in him plan. Going forward, you understand, and I think Gray Fulham would have fit him style of play. You understand that attacking football, and when they're supposed to stay behind the ball, they will stay behind the ball. But Sean Dice, Everton still have a lot more player to bring in into them team. So let's see what's going to happen. I would love to see that move they make for Gray and thing, but another player we talk about people, as I say, 
Dishon Bernard people. Yeah, man, the Manchester United player that make. But before we get into that, people, I have a couple of things more to say before we get into that Dishon Bernard. I have a, I have a thing I want to read to you. I have a look at thing I want to go and look at. Int. At right now. This is a, when I take this from, is a good news right now. See? See something in the in the Goodison news. Very interested. So, the attacker giant, the toughest, for those who don't know, the toughest is Everton. You understand? The nice neighbor, we call him next door to Liverpool. So, um, from the German side, by Leverkusen in, in, in 2021, he has gone to, he, he has gone on to make 75 appearance for the Mercy side. All right, 75 appearance, and in that people, him have 20, him have 12 goal and six and six assists for the Everton winger. So that's 12 goal in 75 appearance for Everton. So what's the 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 a goal? That's not bad. Can't remember goal ratio or oh, 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 your corner people. Um. So, the Everton winger is frustrated in, in, in Merseyside and he wants to make a switch. So, Everton want 10 to 12 million foreign people. And you know that Everton buy him for 1.5, 1.7 million pound. You understand? So, that's a baggage. When me Everton buy him for that fee, who buy him? Who was a coach at the time for Everton? Is Carl Ancelotti was a coach who purchased Gray or Frank Lampard? Can't remember who purchased him. But for this is what I tell you, you know, with English tax, you know. Imagine the man him buy a man for one million hard. Carl said them pay for two million for him. Run it after two million. And them going to sell him back for about twelve million. So basically, the man they make ten million pound them money. You understand? And many clubs in England. Have Gray as a English. He's an Englishman, but play for the reggae boys. But um, they would have called him a homegrown player. You understand? So homegrown player in England come a little bit more expensive. An English player and, a, and the base still always very expensive. You get the man say. So that's it for you guys for them all Gray. So seventy five appearance. 12 goal and 6 assists. That's not bad. Hopefully him can better that. And one of the things that me have a problem with Gray, you know. It's just like Bailey, you know. You understand? Gray and Bailey is no really different. But I think Gray is a little bit better than Bailey. But the two of them inconsistent. Right? Remember, Gray win the Premier League at Everton, right? And a lot of person expect a lot on Gray. But with in club career is just inconsistent. Today we'll play two games good and then another game in play bad. Me know about Gray a long time before him even come and play for Jamaica. You understand? If him and Bailey can just be consistent during them career, I believe they could play for a top team in England. Uh, they, they, they could play uh, Arsenal. They could play for a top in Tottenham. But them inconsistent, nobody going to buy a player that inconsistent, man. They want a proven player at that level. You get the man say, yeah, man. He win the Premier League at Leicester City. Oh, I said Everton. Oh, yeah. My apology, people. He win the Premier League at Everton. You see me? So, and at the time when him jump out, you know, people. When him jump out, you know, playing for Leicester City, you know. I think Leicester City buy him from Birmingham. Right? It's a Birmingham boy. Yeah? And when Leicester City buy him from Birmingham, at a young age, right? Playing in the championship and then come up in the Premier League. A lot of people expect Gray should be one of them top players they're playing for England, but true him inconsistent with him performance. And I see him thing with Bailey. Right? They start off very well and they supposed to make that jump and them to make that jump there. Because I believe that they are good enough 
to play. The talent, not say good enough. The talent they have, they can play for Arsenal. You understand? And they can play for Tottenham. Bailey can play for Liverpool. Gray could play for Liverpool, but just that inconsistent with their performance. And if you want to be a quality player, you have to be consistent week in, week out. Look at soccer. Consistent. You understand? You have to be consistent. You did it. You did it. Yes, people. I speak about that um, Bailey, Bailey player. It could be um, Everton, Aston Villa, I should say. Um, Aston Villa don't really have a lot of wingers, you know? and today I'll be coming. Bailey on the left, there we could be on the right. I don't know, or he is replacing Bailey. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But that's a very good signing for Villa. Very good signing for Villa. Hope Bailey can see that. I run for him money. You get to me, I say. But never play where I go talk about people. Deshaun Bernard signed for Sheffield Wednesday, people. Sheffield Wednesday. Right? It is a good look, people. It's a good look. I think Sheffield Wednesday, they not they, they are not back. I think they are back in the championship, people. Is it? Sheffield Wednesday are back in the championship. I think Sheffield is back in the championship, you know, people. I think uh, Sheffield win. No, man. Sheffield back in the championship, man. Leon Moore was coaching them last season. Yeah, man. Leon Moore, I can't remember that, people. I have to go look on it. I remember the former Jamaican player, Leon Moore, play for them, coach them last season, and they win the playoff. I think they win the playoff and in the championship. So, for him to, at the age of 23, playing in the championship, that's going to give him a whole heap of experience. And for him, to play in the in the Gold Cup the other day, that's going to give him a lot of experience too. International experience. So good to see Jamaican player. He's playing in the championship. You get to me, I say? So that is a good look. I love that. Because I think he's a quality player. But he just need that more game time and then build. Still not reaching prime yet. Still now I'm 20, 22, 23. By by the time we reach 26, with the play international football at a young age, 22, that's going to raise, raise, raise him level a game in a day, in a the coming months or year for the Jamaica national team. That's only going to be good for the Jamaica national team, people. But anyway, people, pick up on yourself, people. I'm telling you already, so this one won't be a long one, people. I'm not feeling well. I'm going to take care of my health, people. Not feel too well, people. You get me? So big up to all of the people who are tuning in. Big up to all of the people who are just joining in later and think, people. But this one is just a quick one, people, to give you guys something for tonight. All right? See you guys probably tomorrow. Not feeling too well, people. Peace out. My name is Earl Stevens, former international player and reggae boy. And you're watching Elite Sports TV. Ryan LFC. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date to get the latest content on the Reggae Boys football. Bless.